Hello, my name is David Trimberger, and this is attempt number three at IV Piggyback Administration. Um, first thing that I'm going to do is gather up all my materials, so making sure that I have my medication, my IV solution, IV tubing, my medication labels, tape, alcohol prep pads, and my sharps container, as well as my proper PPE. Um, so the first thing that I'm, or after that, sorry, after I've gathered up all my materials, I'm going to uh, check my medication orders and uh, compare to what I'm going to be giving to my patient. Um, after I've checked my medication orders, I'm going to uh, talk with my patient, ask them if they have any known allergies, as well as when I walk in the room, I'll say, can you please tell me your name, name and date of birth, and check that with my medication labels. Um, after they told me their name and their date of birth, as well as if they have any allergies, I will then grab my medication and go through my five rights. So I'll make sure that this is the correct medication. I'm giving it at the um, I'm giving it at the right route, which is going to be going through the IV, checking the dosage on it, as well as if I'm giving this at the right time and that it's the right medication. I'm going to be checking the clarity of it as well as the expiration date. I will then draw up my medication and I will make sure that I have dispersed all the air bubbles there we go all the air bubbles out of my solution sorry about that drop my needle okay so I have that set aside then I'll come over grab my IV solution I will uh, check to make sure that this is the right solution, that I have checked the expiration date, clarity of the medication, and that it has both of its tail fork covers. I will then grab my IV tubing, check to make sure that it has both of its tail fork covers, um, and that the I, that this IV tubing can be set at the right drip rating, and that my flow clamp is closed off and all the way up towards my fill chamber. Next, I will then put on proper PPE. I will grab an alcohol prep pad, grab my IV solution, and clean my secondary port on my IV. I will then check with my medication one more time that this is the right medication. I will then inject it. into my IV solution. Then I will immediately place this in the sharps container. Gently ag agitate my medication, mix it up. I will then come over and spike my IV tubing. Turn it upright, fill my fill chamber up to about halfway. Then, to the best of my ability, I'm going to try and get all of my air bubbles out without wasting a lot of medication. Okay, after I have finished this, I am then going to hang this bag higher than my primary line. Um, so then I will set this aside, clean up my area a little bit. Then I'm going to grab a new alcohol prep pad. I'm going to come over to my primary line, find my Y port. I'm then going to clean off my Y port, check my medication one more time that this is the right medication. I'm then going to establish my secondary line to my primary line. I'm going to turn off, before I would have attached this, I would have turned off my primary line, then attach my medication. Now that my medication is attached, I'm going to tape down the white port. Then I will set the flow rate on my secondary administration or on my secondary uh, medication. I will open up the flow rate on my primary administration, set them to the proper flow rate. I will then come over and label my medication 
and then I will monitor and watch over my patient for any adverse reactions, um, any change in patient condition, as well as any undesired side effects. Thank you.